What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Ariel, and welcome to Student Success During a Pandemic. I'm going to give you guys the tips, the principles, and the strategies you need to be successful in school, virtually, and in person during a pandemic. Yes, we are still in a, a pandemic. It is January 26th. So we're still going to be in this pandemic moving forward for the spring semester and maybe in the fall semester. Hopefully the spring semester is the last semester of virtual learning and things go back to normal and everything opens up and everything becomes better. I know that this pandemic can be very stressful dealing with COVID-19, not knowing what the future holds and just not having a clear path to execute on, right? I believe that most people aren't executing. Most people are struggling because they don't have enough clarity around their vision. They don't have enough clarity around their purpose. They don't have a plan set out step by step in order to help them be successful. But you guys have me and I'm here to help you guys. So let's get right into it. And today's video is going to be about gratitude. That's right. Practicing thankfulness, practicing appreciation, practicing gratitude is a super important mindset shift technique, because when you're sad, when you are depressed, when you are going through a traumatic experience, when you are struggling with studying, when you're struggling with school or your social life, your mind is all over the place, right? And this practice of being grateful is a grounding technique, right? It's a grounding technique. It brings you back to the present and allows you to focus on the things that really matter, right? Because sometimes our mind plays tricks on us and we focus on things that have very little significance in our lives. Things that when we really sit down and think about it, these things are a small portion, a small factor of in the grand scheme of our lives, in the grand scheme of getting our education, in the grand scheme of us being good human beings. That's what we are here to do. We are here to be the best that we can be every single day as human beings, right? So being grateful, having that appreciation for the things that matter is going to shift your mind from the problem to a solution. And that's what we want. We want to go from problem to solution as fast, as simple as can be, because the faster we can get to the solution, the simpler it is to get to the solution, the more likely we are able to do it. If it is a huge task for you to get to your solution, you're probably going to feel overwhelmed. You're probably going to feel down and you're probably going to be super anxious and you're not going to get to your solution because the weight of the task of the steps to get to the solution are so hard, it's so magnifying, it's so complex, right? That we just say, forget it, I'm not gonna do it, we're just gonna resist it because it isn't helping us, it isn't simple, it isn't convenient, and our lives have been shaped by convenience. If you are, you know, a millennial or a generation Z, as they will call it. You was born in the last 20 years. You know, you was born with the microwave. You was born with Uber. You was born with, you know, instant gratification from social media. So there is just so much convenience in modern day times that it can also trick us and burden us when we don't get that instant gratification like those likes in those comments on social media or if we don't get that food in three minutes going through the fast uh, fast food drive through right? If we don't get to our destination within 15 minutes, if our Uber is five minutes late, right? So all of these modern day conveniences has kind of put us back from being patient and, and understanding that there's bigger things that we should be worried about and not the little things, right? So we wanna move from problem to solution, super simple, super fast and super easy so we can do the task, okay? And during this gratitude exercise, it is a very simple, short, quick way to get your mind off of the problem, get your mind on the solution, to shift your mind away from the challenges and obstacles and struggles that be, await you, and focus on the things that you love, the things that you appreciate, the things that you cherish, 
the people who are in your corner, the people rooting for you, the support system that you have on this journey, on this college journey, right? Because that's what it is. It's really a journey. And we're all on this journey if we're undertaking any task or if we're on a mission to accomplish any goal, right? If we have any aim, if we have something we want to set out and accomplish, we are on a journey. So let's enjoy the journey. Let's appreciate the process. Let's understand that it's the process where the results lie and not in the product, right? So in this gratitude activity, super simple. We're going to write down three things in which we are grateful for. And we're going to do this in the morning. We're going to do this in the afternoon. And we're going to do this at night, right? You can start by just doing this one time a day if that is simpler for you because what you appreciate, appreciates. So let's find something that we can appreciate. And how do we do that? By writing it down, by being thankful for it by putting it on our gratitude list. Okay. So let's get into it. Gratitude list. What are we thankful for? The first thing I am thankful for, right, is my support system family. You can say your support system or your family. You don't have to Write it down on paper why, but just think about why you are grateful. Why do you appreciate? Why are you thankful for the people in your life? Are they rooting for you? Do they give you money during hard times? Do they give you a shoulder to cry on? Do they offer you resources to help you on your journey? Why do you love your family, right? So that's the first thing on our gratitude list. We're going to do three things in which we're thankful for. Super easy, super simple, super quick, so we can shift our mind from problem to solution. Number two, thankful for opportunity, man. Opportunity. Thankful for opportunity because without opportunity, we would not have the chance to accomplish our dreams. We would not have the chance to meet the love of our life. We would not have the freedom, the liberty to exercise our thoughts and opinions and our actions in this world, in this free world, right? Opportunity is super important because opportunity allows you to fulfill your destiny. Opportunity allows you to wake up every day feeling energized, feeling motivated, feeling confident to take on any task because you know that once you complete the task, you're one step closer to your dreams. And not too long ago, people in this country, black people in this country did not have the opportunity to chase their dreams. Immigrants did not have the opportunity to chase their dreams, right? And thank God for Martin Luther King and all of the activists in the world who sacrificed their time, sacrificed their lives and sacrificed their energy so that we can have opportunity in America, right? So Be grateful for your opportunities. If you're in college, just be grateful for the fact that you have the chance to get an education. Your grandparents or your parents and or your great great grandparents probably didn't have the opportunities that you have today. So always be appreciative of where you are at, because some people around you and some people before you and some people after you will not have the opportunity that you have. So make the best of your opportunities. All right. Be thankful for your opportunities. Number three. Oh, I'll put a one. (laughs) Number three. I'm also thankful for transportation, right? (laughs) Thankful for transportation, reliable transportation. I'm thankful for the buses. I'm thankful for the cars. I'm thankful for the subways. I'm thankful for the boats. I'm thankful for the airplanes. I'm thankful for all ways of transportation, even feet, even walking, right? That is a mode of transportation. And using your feet is super important because that's the first mode of transportation that we have, right? Other than crawling, (laughs) but being able to get from A to B in the fastest instance is a great, is a, is a blessing. Okay. Being able to get on a plane, go from state to state, getting on a plane to go from country to country is an awesome experience. So I'm thankful for transportation because it has opened up so many doors 
just going from uh, Syracuse, New York to Atlanta on the airplane or from Syracuse, New York to Trinidad on the airplane, you, I got to experience how other people live their lives. I got to see how they operate in other countries. I've got to see and witness and experience different places, different cities and different states. So if you have the opportunity to travel, if you have good transportation, then you should also be thankful for that as well, because it allows you to experience how other people live. It allows you to get from point A to point B in a fast and convenient way, right? So transportation is what I'm thankful for. These are just three things I'm thankful for because we're practicing our gratitude activity. The three things you're thankful for, make sure you write them down in the morning. You can do this at activity during a stressful time to allow you to be grounded and allow you to reshift your focus because sometimes our minds like to wander. Sometimes our minds are overcrowded with thoughts and opinions and experiences and visuals from things that have happened in our lives. And sometimes we just have to quiet our mind down in order to focus and being grateful, being thankful, appreciating things helps you to refocus, recenter, Be present with yourself, be present in that moment and allows you to eliminate the distractions, eliminate the confusion, eliminate all of the obstacles and opposition that is in front of you and focus on how to best handle the task at hand, right? So be grateful, practice gratitude. Another thing you can do is you can practice a gratitude jar, right? Every day, you just put a little piece of paper in a jar, write down what you're thankful for, And put it in a jar. And then by the end of the year, you will have a whole bunch of papers. If you did this once a day for 365 days, you have 365 things to be thankful for by the end of the year. If you do it once a week, you'll have 52 things to be grateful for at the end of the year. Right. So there's many different ways to practice gratitude. You can write a thank you letter to someone who you appreciate, just letting them know you appreciate them, right? You can write a thank you email. You can write a I love you email. You can write an I love you text message, right? There's so many ways to show you appreciate people. There's so many ways to show you you're thankful for people. Just pick up the phone and say, hey, I was thinking about you. I just wanted to let you know that I'm grateful that you're in my life. I'm glad we met. I'm grateful for our experiences. You can call an old family member or friend. Or you can call a new family member or friend, right? <laughs> and just let them know that you're thankful for them and whatever they did to help you out to get you to from one level to the next, right? So that's like four different gratitude exercises we just covered in the last minute. So you guys should be filled with ideas. You guys should be filled with action steps, simple action steps to take you from problem to Solution. So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling depressed, when you're feeling anxious, practice gratitude. When you feel like you're not focused, practice gratitude. When you feel like you're not clear, practice gratitude. Remember why you're doing it. Remember who you are doing it for and be appreciative of them in that moment in time so that you can become grounded, get refocused and take on the task at hand. All right. It's your boy, Ariel. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to click that like button if you appreciate this video and share this video with a family member or a friend just to show your gratitude, just to show you appreciate them. Say, hey, I saw this video and I just wanted to share it with you because I feel like it's an awesome video and it will help you out, right? So subscribe, like, comment. That all helps the algorithm. I totally appreciate you guys. It's your boy, Ariel. Until next time, what you appreciate, appreciates. So show appreciation, show gratitude, and be thankful for all the opportunities. Peace.